Welcome back to my artificial intelligence workstation. Well, it's actually my dining room table. And I've um, spent quite a lot of time messing about with the um, mobile SSD network and uh, trying to get that to work on a Raspberry Pi. And uh, the training was the weakest link there. I couldn't get the WASP images to train properly on the uh, on that system. So I've gone back to the um, Jetson TX2. I've also learned a little bit about how to get a, a good um, indication of um, accuracy and precision by using a video off YouTube with a little USB camera here. This is the Logitech um, webcams upmarket, sort of a high grade webcam. So I've got that watching a a video on loop here off YouTube and this video is a fresh set of um, frames so the um, Jetson was not trained using any, any of the Im images of this video and then on this screen here I've got the Jetson drawing boundary boxes around the, the wasps and uh, in the screen at the bottom there that gives uh, the confidence values and the uh, coordinates of the boxes themselves. So what's really obvious here is that it's, <laughs> it's an, at least one order of magnitude better than the um, mobile SSD network that I trained. Uh, there was something seriously wrong with that training procedure. Whereas, as we can see, the um, BVLC GoogleNet training it's working really well. Uh, it is picking up hornets, but hornets are so similar to wasps that that's not surprising. It's not picking up flies in the, in the images, and I've also noticed because the uh, images were trained with um, honeybees in the background, it's not picking up honeybees either. So there we go. It's, and it works really fast. It's working at about 15 frames per second, I think, at the moment. Uh, obviously it doesn't pick up all the wasp images, it would be great if it did. Uh, it was only trained with about 2,500 images so it's not surprising. Maybe if, that, if it had 5,000 or 10,000 images it would be significantly better. But uh, I'm not going to do that, I uh, really can't be bothered. This is fine. So I'm just going to let the video play to the rest of the uh, images. This is a hornet, I think. So here we are from the start. Those are wasps, lots of boundary boxes. So it's picking up um, really well. It's only missing, I don't know, maybe it misses 30% of them. It's really fast, it's really accurate, and there's no false positives. Not that I can see, I can't see any false positives at all yet. But it picks up wasps crawling along and wasps flying as well, which is great. And it also can recognise when a wasp is facing away from us, like that one. There we go. I'm really pleased with this. Uh, it's inspired me to carry on with the NVIDIA system and uh, further develop. It's always good to get a comparison with another system. See what some of the pitfalls are and um, learn a bit more about how to test the accuracy. Well, this is quite a good test. So it's a really good visual representation of the accuracy and performance. Never mind the statistics, the MAP and 
loss and whatever if you can actually see the system working in front of you. It's really quick and easy to get a good representation of its effectiveness. There's a fly in there, it's not picking up the flies. 